fantastic Monday morning. It's Monday, the 4th of May, and I'm telling you, my legs have never worked so hard as what they did last Saturday. So I did the marathon. Yay, we completed it. It was rather challenging, but the day was absolutely beautiful. And if you want to have a look on my video, please feel free to. I'll put a link down below at the end of the session so you can go back and have a look at um, my escapade from Saturday. So today I thought it would be a really nice uh, way to start Monday by lengthening and strengthening all of our muscles and that would help me quite a lot as well. First of all I'd like to say thank you for all your support, you guys are just amazing! I love you all! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! And um, before we get going, the usual, do make sure you've got a good pair of trainers on, comfortable clothes, a drink of water to hand. You haven't got any coughs, fevers or colds, that's really important. You've had a check by a GP that you're okay to ex exercise today and you don't have any joint pain or anything giving you any discomfort. Okay, so roll up any trips, slips or hazards like mats and make sure you've got a sturdy sideboard to hold on to for our exercise today. Before we get going, just a quick shout out. We've got some lovely people waiting. So those of you on the chat, we have got um, Anne, we've got Dorothy and Margaret. Good morning, guys. We've got uh, Diane, David, Leslie, Christine, Anthony, Jan and John, Moira, and we've got Jane, and uh, we have got Pat, good morning, uh, Moira, uh, Jane Thomas, Denise, good morning, uh, Jenny from Oxford, and Peter, and we've also got Catherine, good morning, uh, Di Bradford, good morning, oh we've got the lovely sunshine, fantastic, and Madeline, good morning, so Everybody else who's not chatting to me, don't worry, good morning to all you as well. And what I'd like you to do is come and find a nice, comfortable place where you can hold on to the side. Lovely. So we're going to go for our 10 minute workout like normal and we're going to start with some nice mobilisation. So three, two, one, off we go. So relax the shoulders up nice and tall, tuck the tummy in and raise one leg off the floor and you're just going to slightly just a soft knee and rotate round the ankle. Now, get your balance. Can you take your fingers off the side? If not, keep holding on. And then rotate round the other side. Good, now place that foot back down to the floor and lift the other leg. So, circle round and then circle it back round the other way. Good, pop the feet down and in for some hip circles. So you're gonna circle all the way round to your right. Great, keeping your upper body nice and steady and strong. Take it round the other way and circle, good. And stop just here, place your hands, cross them over, soft knees, have a look over your right shoulder, then back to the centre, good, and again. And back to the centre, look over your left. Good, and back to the centre, and down. Now we're gonna head into a chair pose. You can use the support there from the side if you need to. Push your bottom back like you're sitting down into a chair. Good, now you're going to raise all the way up and open the arms out to the side. So you're going to take it down for a chair pose, then push your weight up through the heels as you come up. I'm going to turn to face you. Breath in and breathe out. Good, again. Breath in and breathe out. Good, lovely. Now take your right leg back and lift your left arm up and extend back at the same time. So this is a superman. Now hold on to the side there if you need to. If you want to try without holding on like me, you can place your hand onto your ear or you can place it onto your hip or lengthen out the arm to the side. Now keep going. What I'm aiming to do is keeping my back leg straight and the arm straight and relax, good. On to the other side, so you might be holding on to the side, that's fine, soft supporting knee, keeping the leg straight and the arm straight. Steady breathing as you're going, good. Extending up through the back, lovely. Keep that going, steady breath, keep working with me. Try without holding on if you can, that's the way. We're gonna do a nice big plie squat now. 
So nice wide stance, take your toes out to 45 degrees, hold on to the side if you wish, and then taking the knees outwards. You're gonna hold it here for four pulses. One, two, three, four. Now as you raise up, lift the arms up and open them out in a big circle. Come back to the center. One, two, three, four. Breath in through the nose and breathe out through pursed lips. Well done. We're gonna head into a warrior pose. Take one foot out facing a nice uh, length down that way. The other foot comes in. Take your knee over towards the ankle. Good, hands out to the side. And now try and look over that finger. Good, steady breathing. If you're feeling wobbly, turn to face your sideboard so you can hold on. You're holding just here. Well done, now keep that pose. And what I'd like you to try and do now is slightly tip your head forward so it's coming over like a teapot. Extend that arm to the ceiling. Feel a stretch running right up and through and reach. Steady breath, now you're gonna come all the way up and we're gonna move. So as we come down, we stretch up. And movement, nice steady movement, good. And last one, and up. Now turn that toe to face in, take the other toe out and into the warrior pose here. Good, turn to face and have a look over your fingertips. Let that knee drop forward so it's over the ankle. And as you're doing this movement, imagine that you've got your thigh muscles and they're pulling upwards and outwards. Steady breath, good, hold it here. Into a movement, now you're gonna slightly tip forward. Good, and reach the fingers up to the ceiling. Excellent, lovely, lovely. Now as you come back up, take it back to warrior and then take it back down again. Good, now you can bring your arm, which would be your right arm, sweeping under and towards the hip. Good, try and keep that hand facing up to the ceiling. Good, last one, that's the way. And then slowly come in, walk the feet in nice and gently. Good, now walk it out and raise your right leg up off the floor and take the arm up and then slowly lower. Now keep holding onto the side if you need it there. If you want to take one hand out, please do. So this is good for the balance. Really pull your core muscles in. Every time you extend your leg up, pull up through your pelvis. Good, and pelvic floor muscles. Other side, so we're taking it up and lower. So holding onto the side if you need to, or taking your arm out. You know what I'm like guys, trying to push you all the time, take you out of your comfort zone so you're really working your body well. Good, now let's go for a pelvic floor raise at the same time, lift up, Steady breath, and lower. Well done, folks, good. Just loosen off there a second. Now, let's go back into a nice, long right leg and extend out with the arm. Good, lift and lower. Steady breath, soft knee. Well done, keep it going. Now, if this is feeling awkward of your arm out, place it to the side down here. Or remember, face your sideboard and hold on to the side. Now I'm just facing you so you can see what I'm doing. So this time I'm gonna to turn to my sideboard. Good, and this is what it looks like if I'm facing my sideboard, holding on for a bit of support. Well done, folks. Come on, you can stick with me. Keep the back nice and strong. Leg lovely and strong there. Reaching up, nice, easy, superman. Good, steady breath, plie coming up into a wide squat. Ready, here we go. Nice wide squat and drop it down. Face the sideboard if you need to. Four, one, two, three, four, breath in and out. One, two, three, four, breath in and out. One, two, three, four, breath in, 
and out. Well done. And then just come back into your warrior pose. Take the movement, the feet a bit wider. Sink down. Roll out through the top thigh. Get it rolling back. Good. Look over your fingertips. Hold your core in. Relax the shoulders. And just hold this movement. Steady breathing. Good. Now, if you can, try and take it deeper. So you're bending your front knee. Well done. Circle to the top. And then back. Have a look over your fingertips. And again, lovely movement. Now, as you can see, my kitchen is not particularly that big. So you do need to watch out with your hands that you're not colliding your hands into the sideboard. But I know I've got it there if I need a bit of support. Lovely, steady breath. Good, now turn that toe in, take the other toe out and lean forward. So you're opening out through the thigh, bending that knee, taking it over towards the ankle. Rotate the top fly out, look over your fingers, hold this warrior pose. You guys are doing so well. Keep with me guys. Steady breath. You can do this. Well done, and off we go. Raise up, and then back to centre. Nice, small, little movements for today. Good. Now, if this is hurting your neck, looking up to the ceiling, just look forward. You don't need to look up. Everything that you do needs to work well for your body. You work with your body, not against it. And you just take it to the little threshold each time. Work your feet in together, well done. Excellent, let's go back to the centre, soft supporting knees. Now we're gonna turn from the spine, look behind you and centre. Keep your hips facing forward. We're gonna do four on each side. So this is three and four. Over to the left, so take it round, centre, good. Steady breath, and three, Activity completed. and four, just in time, well done. Big shoulder roll all the way up, round and back. Lovely, two more, one more, good. Nice big open out with one arm, good, reach and open. So we're going to do that four times, really stretch, reach and open. One more time, reach up. Good, well done. It's really important to keep the mobility within our shoulder joints and the mobility all over the body. And by doing these simple movements, it's gonna really help prevent any frozen shoulders. Good, loosen off there, fantastic. So we're gonna start our stretching today. So yay, it's only 10 minutes, really good stuff. If you turn to face your sideboard, what I'd like you to do is feet firmly placed into the floor about shoulder width apart so they're nice and wide, soft knees and then roll all the way through the spine, tuck the head down and you've got the side board there to rest your fingers lightly on the top. Imagine that you're being pulled up through the spine all the way to the ceiling, good, and slowly come back up. Now let's try that again and this time as you come up, work up vertebrae by your vertebrae, so you're stacking up the spine, ready? Working through the lumbar, then the thoracic, slowly coming up, ending with the top of the neck. Well done, let's try that one more time. I'm gonna make it a little bit deeper this time. Good, soft, bend the knees, arching and slowly coming up. Great stuff, well done. Now hold on to your trousers or onto the ankle. Now, if this is tricky, keep your toe into the floor, lift the heel and tilt the pelvis. We're going to go straight into this one, so supporting knee, feeling a stretch onto the front of the thigh. So you've got your side board there if you need to, knees together if you can. You can stretch your arm out for balance. Good. Or hold on. Then we're going to come into that lovely pose. So we're going to work you quite well today. We're going to see if we can soften that supporting knee. Lengthen out, lengthen out, lengthen out. Good, lift that knee up. Well done. 
If this is tricky, put the foot down, raise the back heel off the floor and in for a hip flexor stretch. Good, bring it back in. Excellent, nice and steady. Work it off. Heel pump, nice and easy. Super, let's go for the other side. So I'm going to turn to face this way so you can see me better. I'm going to bring up the leg behind you, holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Soft supporting knee there. Lovely. Soft knee, knees together. Lengthen out through the arm. Oh, what can we see today? Um, it's looking nice, guys, actually. We've got sunshine. The windmill's going crazy. And I can see the sea. It's a little bit hazy, so it's not crystal clear. It's melting into the sky. Now we're going to slightly come forward. Soft knees. If you watched my marathon video from um, Saturday, you'll see the sea. And we're in the distance, and that's kind of what we can see right very far in the distance there. There's a picture halfway through. Well done. Steady breathing. Coming back into the center. Excellent. Take a big stride back with one leg and push the back heel flat into the floor. Bend the front knee and really feel that stretch. Oh, well, th this stretch for me, guys, is lush because I really need to be doing this stretch after all that running. Yeah, can feel my calf muscles, my second heart. We're pumping away on that track. Okay, bring that leg back in. Bend both the knees, push the bottom back and take that leg forward so you're feeling a hamstring stretch. Imagine you're scooping your bottom up and away. Good, steady breath and then slowly come back up. Well done. Take the other leg behind, push the back heel flat into the floor and bend that front knee. Relax the shoulders, use the sideboard when you need to for support or place your hands onto your hips. Good, steady breath. Now bring the feet in, bend both the knees, push the bottom back, straighten out the leg that you've stretched. Good, hold it here. Now I'm going to turn to face you so you can see me. Good, coming forward. Hands onto my bent knee or holding onto the sideboard. Well done, steady breath coming up and shaking out a little bit there. Woo! Yes! We've made it, we've made it through Monday. There was a part of me that was thinking, can I move on Monday morning? And yes, we can, so I'm really pleased. And I'd like to give a special shout out for Trina, who is in Sydney. She had her 80th birthday the other day, so congratulations. Happy birthday, Trina. And yes, if you'd like to see uh, the marathon video, please hit the link below. Thank you for all your support. You guys are so amazing. Keep up the good work and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. But before I go, let's just see if we've got any more shout outs quickly. So we have got Pat, see you tomorrow. And Derek, well done, Derek and Veronica. And uh, Miss Chatterbox, hello, good morning. And Catherine, your shoulders are protesting. Mine too, actually. Josie from Canterbury, hello. Eileen, oh, thank you, Eileen, well done. And Di in sunny Surrey, fantastic. So thank you all for joining me today and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, have a good day. Ciao, ciao, au revoir.